Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, October 22nd. Mental and physical powers must be exercised and developed. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Mental and physical powers must be exercised and developed. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 7 and 8. The opinion which prevails in some classes of society that religion is not conducive to health or to happiness in this life is one of the most mischievous of errors. The scripture says, The fear of the Lord tendeth to life and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 34, verses 12 to 14. The words of wisdom are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 22. True religion brings man into harmony with the laws of God, physical, mental, and moral. It teaches self-control, serenity, temperance. Religion ennobles the mind, refines the taste, and sanctifies the judgment. It makes the soul a partaker of the purity of heaven. Faith in God's love and overruling providence lightens the burdens of anxiety and care. It fills the heart with joy and contentment in the highest or the lowliest lot. Religion tends directly to promote health, to lengthen life, and to heighten our enjoyment of all its blessings. It opens to the soul a never-failing fountain of happiness. Would that all who have not chosen Christ might realize that he has something vastly better to offer them than they are seeking for themselves. Man is doing the greatest injury and injustice to his own soul when he thinks and acts contrary to the will of God. No real joy can be found in the path forbidden by him who knows what is best and who plans for the good of his creatures. The path of transgression leads to misery and destruction, but wisdom's ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 17. The physical as well as the religious training practiced in the schools of the Hebrews may be profitably studied. The worth of such training is not appreciated. There is an intimate relation between the mind and the body, and in order to reach a high standard of moral and intellectual attainment, the laws that control our physical being must be heeded. To secure a strong, well-balanced character, both the mental and the physical powers must be exercised and developed. What study can be more important for the young than that which treats of this wonderful organism that God has committed to us? and of the laws by which it may be preserved in health. This passage was taken from Christian Education, pages 67 and 68. Our Daily Bread, October 22nd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.